Oh, hey there. Dave Hunt, owner of Game Masters Guild. Hey, you ever have one of those days where you just, you're sure you forgot something? I don't know, maybe your keys or your wallet, or I don't know, maybe the alien custom card deck that you were going to put in your last video, but you didn't. So real quick, I'm going to go over this. Uh, this thing's about 20 bucks, but it's pretty cool. I, I like it a lot. Uh, and I'm going to take a look at it. So uh, let's check it out. All right, let's dive into this Alien Custom Card Deck. Again, by Free League. All right. So the first thing we have is, in this deck, we have 22 weapon cards. And it looks like you're going to have some multiples of these weapon cards. But you can have everything from the incinerator to the smart gun. Pulse rifle, lots of multiples of different guns. That way you can hand them out your different to all your different players. Also, too, on the back of each of these, some vital statistics gives you a bonus damage, the range, the weight, the cost, and any additional comments you may need for that particular gun. Here on the M41A pulse rifle, you get a plus one bonus, you get two damage. Long range, weight one, cost 800, and it looks like it's armor piercing and full auto. Now let's just flip through some of these other cards real quick, take a look at them. There's a lot of weapon cards, a lot of multiples, but I think it's gonna be really nice to have multiples. Again, you can hand them out to your other players, or you can even keep a couple behind your screen for quick, easy reference. They even got just a classic 357 Magnum revolver, 1911. All right, and that is the 22 weapon cards. Again, overall, pretty nice, quite a few of them. Again, a lot of multiples, but I think there's nothing wrong with that, though. Let's see what else we got. Now we have the 20 character cards, and all these character cards are done in that artistic style that is found throughout the Alien RPG. And overall, I generally tend to like them. You can see that there are some that appear to be kind of Ripley-esque. see who else. Um, definitely Ripley-esque. What else? Just all these characters look familiar. And see, that's the character. He looks familiar. He almost, uh, oh, man, I can't even place his name. But he looks familiar, even though I'm not even sure where he'd possibly be from. But anyways, all these character cards... Very well illustrated, gives you a good idea of who these people are, and there's 20 of them. And also on the back of each one, and this is very specific to the Alien RPG, they have all their stats. So if someone just dropped in real quick and wanted to play, well, everything is right here. You just pull out one of these cards and say, well, here, you're Officer Miller, and there you go. You can use this card. Or if you guys are doing a quick one-shot, you guys can just whip out these cards and just hand them out or shuffle them and draw them randomly and just use them for your one shot. Everything you need is right here, which is nice. And I don't know how useful this might be in any other science fiction role playing game, but I think if you are been running a game for any length of time, I think you'd probably translate a lot of these attributes and skills and health into uh, a viable NPC or even a player character if need be. But again, this is these are really nice. And these, there are no repeats on the characters. They're all definitely individuals. All right, let's see what else we got. Now, the next thing, I was a little, little surprised that we only got three vehicles. Now, we've got the dropship as seen in Aliens, as well as the APC. And also, too, from the cutscene, we also have the 8x8 tractor that Newt's family was driving. And on the back, again, more vital statistics that you can use for your game. I was kind of surprised they didn't have a couple other things that they just made up and threw in here. Maybe just to round it out like to five or even 10. But you know, <clears throat> I'm satisfied with this too because the, these are the main things. If you're gonna be playing Colonial Marines, you're gonna be using the APC and the dropship and also too with this tractor. 
from what I gather, this is really something you're going to find all over the different colonies. Uh, this is going to be this tractor or something very similar is what's going to be used by a whole bunch of colonists. So three most common vehicles you're going to find in the alien universe and that's cool. Kind of wish there'd been a, just a few more, even just like I said, two to round it up to five or maybe even seven more to round it up to 10. But again, very nice. I like them. And finally, we have the 10 initiative cards all backed to where they look like it's the cover with that dark ambiance, the xenomorph silhouetted in the background with uh, someone in the spacesuit right here. Could be you, could be Ripley, who knows who, who it could be. All right. And so I guess with these initiative cards, you shuffle them up and everybody draws a card and that tells you where in the initiative order that you are. And of course, if you're playing, if you have a lot of people or a lot of NPCs at the table as well, then what you're gonna wanna do, if you don't have enough initiative cards, as DM, what you do is you take your NPCs and you group them up. Let's say you had 12 NPCs. Obviously, there's only 10 initiative cards. If you had 12 NPCs and five player characters, that's 15 initiative cards and you don't have enough. I'm sorry, that's 17 initiative cards and you don't have enough. So what you need to do then is you just need to group up your NPCs into groups and draw each group an initiative card. I think these are nice. They look good. Um, although I kind of think with the initiative cards, I don't know, I think, uh, I mean, it's part of its mechanic, it's part of the game. You could definitely leave the initiative cards in, but I really think it would have been cool if we could have gotten just a few more vehicle cards or maybe something else to sprinkle in, like some extra equipment like uh, tool kits or med kits, maybe personal body armor, some such of that nature. But overall, I am pretty happy with the custom card deck and all the cards that come with it. Yeah, overall, I really like these. I think they're a pretty good buy at 20 bucks, and I think they're just really cool little handouts. I always love little stuff like this, so for me, it's a pretty easy sell on this. So definitely, if you get the Alien RPG and you think about it, in addition to the map and marker set and the dice and the GM screen, Man, you should definitely pick up one of these. And I think, honestly, if I had a choice, I'd rather pick up the custom card set before I pick up the map and marker set. Because uh, I can kind of do without the map and the marker set in exchange for some of these sweet cards. But all in all, I, I support the company. I bought them all. And, you know, even though I like certain products of theirs over others, overall, I still think it's all neat. And I just have an order of preference for it. So, but anyways, that's the custom card deck. Well, that's my look at the Alien RPG custom card deck. And quite frankly, even if you don't play the Alien RPG, this might be kind of a neat little add-on just to have on your game shelf somewhere because the illustrations are pretty nice. And it does give you some little stats and statistics on the back that you could easily adapt to any other science fiction RPG if you want to drop xenomorphs or even just use these cards in that game. And for 20 bucks, I think it's a great little accessory to have, no matter what. If you're playing any kind of science fiction role playing, maybe you should pick one of these up just for gee whiz. But if you're playing the Alien RPG, you should definitely grab one of these decks. I really like it. I think the price is right. And um, I think you need to grab one. I certainly did. Again, I'm Dave Hunt with Game Masters Guild, telling you to stay safe, play great games, and I'll see you real soon.